Hello and welcome to Talk FCB and welcome back here guys to another video on the channel and today we are going to be taking a quick look at the international break and looking at some of the Barcelona players who were in action last night and throughout the day really in action for their international teams, how they got on and there were a few goals of Barcelona players on the score sheets for their respective nations over the past day or so. So we're going to be looking at all that and more in this video but just before we do start that I want to just talk about, just very briefly touch on it, Johan Cruyff. It's been two years on the day that he sadly passed away. So all our respect, of course, to Johan Cruyff and his family, not only in terms of Barcelona, but what he did for the entire footballing world. A pioneer for many of the things that we're seeing right through to today's game was instilled by the values that Johan Cruyff created and instilled in all of his players, all of the coaches who followed in his footsteps. So rest in peace to Johan Cruyff two years today that he sadly passed away. But we are going to start with the international break, of course, and Luis Suarez was the first Barcelona player in action yesterday. Uruguay would take it on the Czech Republic, and it was a good victory, actually, for Uruguay. Two goals to nil, and Luis Suarez, of course he was, he ended up on the score sheet. It was a penalty in the ninth minute, and it was the 50th goal for the already what he is, is the highest goal scorer of the Uruguay national team, and his 50th goal coming yesterday from the penalty spot in a 2-0 win in preparation, of course, Uruguay going to the World Cup and I think actually quite underrated Uruguay have got a good core of players they're very experienced on the big stage and with somebody like Suarez in your team you've got Cavani alongside him you've got other players in that team as well players like Torreira who are cut up and coming as well so they could be dark horses to go deep at the World Cup in Russia come the summer then it was Felipe Coutinho and Paulinho's turn in action as Brazil faced the host Russia in a sort of warm event in Moscow that actually took place in Russia yesterday afternoon it was and Coutinho and Paulinho both getting on the score sheet in this game. Both of those players, of course, very, very key for their country. Paulinho did very well in qualifying for the World Cup with Brazil in very good form. He always seems to play well in their system in Brazil. And Coutinho as well, very key as well, heading to the World Cup. I think he can have a great tournament there for Brazil. Miranda put them ahead. Coutinho followed it up with a penalty kick. Another penalty for a Barcelona player. Good to see that we're scoring from the spot, though, it has to be said. And then Paulinho getting on the score sheet and being just denied as well just before he did get on the score sheet eventually but very comfortable against Russia for Brazil three goals to nil they got through that one later on in the night then there was some really really good games we'll start with Germany against Spain obviously a clash of two heavyweights two teams that will go into the tournament in Russia thinking that they can definitely win it very experienced once again Germany of course having been victorious at previous tournaments as well Spain as well not so long ago Ter Stegen started the game in goal for Germany and it was very very interesting to hear what Yogi Love said the Germany coach about Ter Stegen and about Manuel Neuer with a view of course to that World Cup campaign we don't really know who's going to start in goal for Germany Manuel Neuer this season has hardly played for Bayern Munich he's had injury after injury and he struggled to get back from that and basically Love was asked about whether Ter Stegen or another goalkeeper could take the place of Neuer in the World Cup and he did say if you're not playing up until the tournament if you're not playing frequently for your side it's going to be difficult to include you so the door is definitely open to see Ter Stegen starting in goal for Germany and he did just that yesterday playing the 90 minutes Jordi Alba also played the 90 minutes in that game for Spain Iniesta and Piquet also started they were both substituted though early in the second half it finished 1-1 Thomas Muller scoring for Germany that was after Rodrigo had put Spain ahead and if you want to watch this goal have a look at it because it's an absolutely phenomenal ball from Andres Iniesta a little slide pass a brilliant change of direction Rodrigo has, makes a great run and a really good finish it was over Ter Stegen from Rodrigo but a really good assist there from Andres Iniesta if you do have a look at that one but overall Germany against Spain 1-1 then there was a really, really entertaining game, and by entertaining, I certainly mean goals, between France and Colombia, which actually ended three goals to two. Sam Willem Titley didn't enjoy his best game in the French shirt in this one. He played alongside Lucas Digne. Lucas Digne actually came off quite late on with a bit of injury, not really sure how serious that is. Ousmane Dembele starting on the bench, and also on the Colombian side, of course, Yeri Mina played the full 90 minutes at the heart of the Colombian defence. But like I say, um, Titley wasn't fantastic. 
France in general I thought weren't great although they did take a, a good lead and they should have hung on to that but again questions of France and I don't particularly like Didier Deschamps the French manager I don't really see a lot of good in him I think over the course of the you know, the time that he's been in charge of the Euros they got to the final but they never really inspired I think France could have done with a change coming into this tournament they've got so many good up and coming young players now it would have been good for a fresh face but after France blew their 2-0 lead this one finished Colombia 3 France 2 also not in action one player who didn't play at all was Jasper Sillison at the heart of the Netherlands goalkeeper and of course he's been in their team now for a long long time but he was not in goal Zoet was in goal he got the nod Netherlands losing to England and all I'll say with this one is that's what you get when you do not elect to play the king that is Jasper Sillison I'm surprised that he didn't play in this one Holland of course sadly will not be in the World Cup they failed to qualify and they're looking to get back on their feet now of course under Ronald Koeman it was Jesse Lingard got the goal for England his first in international colours and of course, there was a big game in the UK yesterday in Manchester at the Etihad Stadium, home of course of Manchester City. Argentina were taking on Italy. That was a friendly as well. Italy, of course, another team like the Netherlands, who sadly didn't make the World Cup. They failed to qualify, losing that qualifying match against Sweden to get to the World Cup. They played Argentina in a friendly. Lionel Messi, though, was left on the bench for the entirety of the game. And the reason behind that is basically precautionary. He doesn't have an injury. He's not, you know, anything serious. Serious, but he just wanted to be rested. Apparently, he's got a bit of muscle fatigue. He's feeling very, very tired. We've had a hectic season, of course. He's played nearly every minute of that campaign, and it was simply a precautionary measure. Messi left on the bench for that one. But Argentina coming through by two goals, and it did take them until the 15 minutes from time mark to make the breakthrough. It was Eva Benega of Sevilla who gave them the lead. Ten minutes following that, Gonzalo Higuain setting up Manuel Lanzini, the West Ham midfielder, giving Argentina a 2-0 victory over Italy. So promising signs for Argentina. I still think they've got work to do. I still think, obviously, with the inclusion of Messi, we'll see better Argentina performances. But this is certainly good things. Good things. They need to build on this now. They need to keep that structure, keep that team ethic, really. Everybody working hard. Everybody working together in a collective system. That'll get the best out of Messi. And that's what we want to be seeing from Argentina in Russia. Portugal were in action also last night playing against Egypt. They went 1-0 down in that game. Then Andre Gomez was brought on in the second half and he played about half an hour in that game. Portugal eventually did turn it round though Cristiano Ronaldo scoring twice in injury time win for Portugal over Egypt and the final game of which a Barcelona player was involved was Ivan Rakitic who played the full 90 minutes yesterday for Croatia as they surprisingly lost by two goals to nil against Peru last night. So that's basically all that's been happening on the international front so far guys and during these international breaks of course all the countries play a total of two games so there will be more fixes to come. Now, I'm not a huge fan, as all of you guys know, of the international break, but I have to say, coming up, there are some really, really interesting matches, real heavyweight clashes to prepare these teams for the World Cup. Portugal will be facing the Netherlands on Monday, so Andre Gomez could be in action there. Also on Monday is my own country, Wales. They'll be playing Luis Suarez's Uruguay in what is basically the China Cup final. It's going to be in China, the semi-finals with the games they've just played. Played. This will be the final in China, so there should be a great crowd turning out there to see Luis Suarez and Gareth Bale go head-to-head. -head. Then on Tuesday, the host Russia, of course, in this summer's tournament will be facing France. Germany against Brazil, a rematch of that historic 7-1 victory, of course, for Germany over Brazil, but best not to speak about that. Colombia against Australia, also on the Tuesday, and then Spain against Argentina. Another real heavyweight clash. Spain during this international break have really gone for it in terms of ramping up those friendlies, really trying to get themselves game ready. They played Germany now just yesterday. Then they're going to be taking on Argentina, and I would expect Lionel Messi to take part in that one, playing, of course, against many players that he plays against week in, week out, and, of course, players that he often plays with. And the final match will be on the early hours in the morning on Wednesday. Mexico will be taking on Croatia and that of course will feature Ivan Rakitic. And so that is basically what has been going down on the international front over the past few days and what is of course to come in the next few days. Like I say, there are some really good games there guys. So once again, after those games I might be back with another video looking at those in a bit more detail and doing a quick review of the games that we've just spoken about. And of course, Barcelona will be returning next weekend and can't we all wait 
for that to happen. But thank you as always for joining me, guys. Please let me know your thoughts down below on the games that I've spoken about. And also, if your country was involved, of course, over this international break, please do let me know down in the comments below. How did you get on? How are you doing right now? I will see you very soon indeed. But until then, as always, Vasca El Barça. Hey,